possible. Happy Tuesday, everyone, and surprise! Welcome to your favourite trivia show where we give you the chance to win real cash dollars by just correctly answering questions. Easy, right? We're back again for our first surprise game of the day. We had so much fun on the road yesterday, but we've come back to our secret bunker in the Holy City, which is Charleston, South Carolina, for the very first game. We thought... Oh, let me take that out. Um... We're throwing in an extra game for you today, but we'll also be back in an hour for our regular lunchtime special. Aren't all these surprises just so exciting? I'm your host, not from the coast, Poppy Miller, ready to give you the chance to win today's first, first cash pot, and here's how. I'm going to ask 12 questions ranging from answerable to just a little tricky. You'll have about eight seconds from when I start the question to tap your very best guess. If you get it right, you'll advance on to the next round. Make it to the end, you'll win or split the cash. There's three choices for each answer, so even if you don't know, just have a guess. We had four winners split the ca cash prize in yesterday's show, so let's see how many of you make it to the end today. Anyway, enough chit-chat, $100, 12 questions, game one, let's get started. Question number one, always nice and easy, but bound to catch a few people out. Which bird cannot fly? Is it a parakeet? Is it parakeet? Is that how you say it? Parakeet, cardinal or ostrich? And this is not a trick question. You might have winged this one, but of course it is an ostrich that cannot fly. Ostriches are the world's largest bird and can be up to six feet tall and weigh around 250 pounds. Wow, well, wouldn't that be a little scary if they could fly? Well, 96 of you got that right. You are flying on to question number two. Which hair colour is the rarest? Is it red, blonde or brown? And that is, which one is the rarest? Well, I can tell you that the rarest hair colour is red. Red hair only occurs in 1-2% to of the human population, but don't worry, we think you're all one in a million here at the queue, but 96 of you got that right, and cue question number three. Which is not a member of the Adams family? Is it Cousin It? Is it that Cousin It? Cousin It, Jeeves or Wednesday Adams? They're all creepy, kooky, mysterious and spooky, but they do not include Jeeves. Well, 98 of you said Adam, Wednesday Adams, but 64 of you were not scared and clicked the right answer. And it is you who is moving on to question number four. Jeff Bezos, I think that's how you say it, Bezos. Yep, yep. Jeff Bezos is the son of an immigrant from which country? Is it Venezuela, Argentina or Cuba? Well, Jeff Bezos is worth 110 US billion dollars and he is the founder and CEO of Amazon.com. His father was an immigrant from Cuba. He came to America at 16 with no English skills and went on to become the parent of one of the richest people on earth. Will you become $100 richer today? Let's find out as we move on to question number five. Which of these is not an NFL team? Is it the Gamecocks, Buccaneers or Jaguars? I'm sure all these teams are very fresh in your mind, but which one is not an NFL team? It is the Gamecocks that is the odd one out. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Jacksonville Jaguars are, are of course, both NFL teams. The USC Gamecocks, who have the famous mascot, Cocky, play the Florida Gators in basketball tomorrow night. And who have you got? I don't know the answer to that one, but I do know that 68 of you got that right and you are moving on to question number six. 
Which of the following materials does not come from an animal? Is it silk, cotton or wool? And this looks nice and easy. We are having the pop-up. The correct answer we're looking for is cotton. But wool, you get that one right. 85 of you said cotton and you are moving on to question number seven. We're doing well today. Let's keep going. What breed is the dog in the dog... In, is it Dodge? In the I think it's Dodge. Jo Dodge. Dodge. In the Dodge means, is it... Akita, Shiba Inu, or Pomeranian? Well, we won't say those again, but the correct answer we're looking for is Shiba Inu. Dodge is love, Dodge is life, but 96 of you are life and you are moving right on to question number seven, eight. Question number eight. Horseshoe crabs have blue blood due to the presence of which metal? Is it iron, zinc or copper? And if you didn't even know that they have a presence of metal, just have a guess. And if you can't guess, you should follow the cue on Twitter because you will be thrilled to see this. It was today's freebie. Very last minute though. Very surprised. The correct answer is copper. Oxidized copper give off, gives off a bluish greenish tinge like on the Statue of Liberty and Old Pennies. And another fun fact, horseshoe crab's blood contains natural antibacterial properties that could potentially save people's lives. Will that question save 96 of you? Let's go to question number nine. Which type of wood is known is not known for its shock resistance? Is it ash, basalm? Is that balsam, 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 or hickory? This one's a little bit of a tuppy, but the correct answer we're looking for is balsam. Balsam firs are most common in Christmas trees, so they do have that going for them. 98 of you said ash, 26 of you said hickory, but 94 of you are moving on to the next question, question number 10, and just three co correct answers separates you from today's cash prize. According to the Kalmath, is it Kalmath? Is it Klamath? According to the Klamath mythology, which part of Yao Yao's body created Wizard Island? Is it heart, head, or liver? That's heart, head, or liver? The correct answer is head. And you could say that Yao Yao was a bit hot-headed because Wizard Island is a volcanic cinder cone at Crater, at Crater Lake in, Orig in Oregon, which is the deepest lake in the USA. Well, we learn new things every day here at the Q. 95 of you said liver, 24 of you said heart, but you will be the ones moving on to question number 11. How was the Meroy Tick cursive script written? Was it right to left, top to bottom, right to left, bottom to top, or right to left, bottom to top? Very tricky, very confusing. Just have a guess if you don't know. The correct answer is right to left, top to bottom. The me the Meroy, is it how you say it? Meroy? I think so. The um, The Meroy Tick Mero the Meroy. The Mary. Meriotic. Okay. The I don't know. Liz will tell us if this is her. <laughs> is this? It's Doge and Clamath. Doge. 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 Okay. Yeah. And do you know how to say Meroitic? Uh, Meroitic. Meroitic. Yeah. yeah. That's like, perfect. Just like you got it. Meroitic. Yeah. Mor Meroitic. Yeah. Okay. The Meroitic. The Meroidic involved two scripts developed to write the Kushite. Is that how you say it? Kushite? Kushite. Kushite. Okay. The Kushite language. We can all remember the days where we had to learn cursive, so just imagine having to learn two. Yikes. Well, lucky for you, only one more question separates you from today's cash prize. Let's go to question 
Number 12. Salmon, uh, Samoan. Samoan locals have been known to throw what fruit into the alofaga blowholes? Is it coconuts, papayas or melons? Well, I'm going to go bananas if you get this right because it's the very last question. The correct answer is coconuts. Locals will throw coconuts into the blowholes and watch them get blasted hundreds of feet into the air. Sounds a little dangerous, but what is truly coconuts is that we're already done with this game. Congratulations to our five winners. You have won and split today's cash prize. Are we doing winner winner chicken dinner today? Yes. So they put those coconuts in the bowl in their yeah. thing and then they Oh my god. I, I thought it was like a food bowl at the start. Congratulations to our six winners. You are stars. You came in last minute. It was our surprise game. And if you didn't win, I'm sure you were close. Because no matter how you did, join us again so soon in an hour to be precise and surprised again with a fresh deck and fresh dollars. Don't forget to tweet me at underscore Poppy Miller and stay tuned for the next freebie and of course at the Q Trivia. Have a fabulous hour and we'll see you in a few. Toodles!